What's up everyone? So I'm pretty new to this whole YouTube thing. And um, I started my channel, I don't know, maybe, maybe like five months ago or so with the goal of like anyone who starts a YouTube channel, trying to grow it, but not at any cost, really trying to grow it by putting stuff out there that is helpful to people, stuff that's relevant to us who are photographers or interested in photography. And overall, I'm trying to keep everything positive. But I got to tell you, there's so much hatred in the photography community. It really boggles my mind. Like, and I come from a music background. Like, I've literally gone to conservatory. I studied music. I'm classically trained and jazz trained. And I used to think, wow, you know, musicians, professional musicians are the most critical of everyone. But... Even the most critical, classically trained violinist has nothing on the photography community. It really boggles my mind. And um, so I started my channel, you know, however long ago, and, and I've been posting a lot of stuff and trying to just contribute. And, and obviously, like I said, it's great to see the channel grow. I think that's awesome because that kind of validates that you feel like, well, I guess I'm putting stuff out there that people can find useful. And early on, I kept seeing like comments about uh, Tony and Chelsea Northrup. And I didn't even know who they were at the time. I didn't know their channel. And then I realized based on hearing people talk negative about these other people and say very, very vicious things that I just kind of dismissed their channel. So I decided, um, let me ch check out their channel. And so so I did, and, and they have, at this point, like 1.5 million subscribers, and so they're doing something right, you know? You gotta be doing something right. And I have just, I don't have any problems with them. Maybe I don't agree with them on everything, and obviously I haven't watched all their videos. I've watched a handful, maybe. Um, but I think, like, I could disagree with them without being hateful on them. And, you know, stylistically, of course, everyone has different different kind of ideas about style. So maybe I don't really like the, the kind of, um, you know, soap opera kind of look of the videos or whatever. But I really don't see the need to throw shade at them and hate at them. Now, I understand it, don't get me wrong, people with much smaller channels want to just grow based on like, oh, I'll put these people in the title and say something negative and then my channel will grow. So I get that. And obviously me talking about it in the back of my mind is I'm saying to myself, you know, on some level, yeah, if I post this, probably it'll help me grow my channel. But I think there's a big difference between kind of adding to the community and then just spreading hate to try and benefit yourself. Because we all know that that negative negativity spreads much faster than positivity. Um, so I think it's important for people to realize when you go on someone's YouTube channel and you comment on that, like that's a real person. That's a person who has a family. That's a person who has a mom and a dad. Maybe they have kids. You, you're just totally throwing hatred at a stranger that you really don't know from a hole in the wall. Like you might meet this person and go have a beer with them and find out, oh my goodness, we have so much in common. This person could be my best friend. So people got to stop spreading so much hate. And I'll tell you for me personally, like I started writing for a photography magazine. Um, also probably maybe like the beginning of this year. So it's been about six months. And I remember seeing this job posting and I thought to myself, okay, this would be a cool way to kind of, you know, just do talk about what I love photography and, and, and maybe help get the word out about my studio. I'm trying to grow my studio and this and that. And so I knew, okay, you know, people can be a little, a little mean in the comments, but I got to tell you, I was not at all prepared for the angry hatred that would be spewed my way from the, from the very first article I posted. And I was called in the first article I posted on this website, which was about headshot lighting. And it was about kind of using a, a flattering light that's even and why I don't um, 
usually put a lot of shadows on women's faces specifically. And by saying women specifically, I was called a misogynist. I was called problematic. I was told that, uh, you know, I'm, uh, all these terrible things, like words that were thrown at me that in my entire life, I've never been called these things. And it just shocked me all because I suggested like, okay, my female clients who have told me many times that, oh, I like this flattering sort of light and that's why I use it. And, and the mistake I made at the time was I started responding to the comments, trying to defend myself, which you're always going to lose that battle. So it's not even worth it to do that. But what I did after that was just ignored them. But the, the irony was the people who had the most nasty things to say, didn't have a profile, didn't have a photo posted. And that's something else I've noticed in the photography community when people criticize you you're going to get all these critiques from people and then you're going to try and look, you know, like early on when every comment kind of bothers you a lot, you're going to try and look up these people and be like, well, let's see what their work looks like. And 99% of the time, they don't do anything. They're just online trolling people because they hate their own lives and they want to spread hatred. And they don't have any images because they're not photographers. So, and that kind of brings me back to the Northrop's like they're doing something of value, right? They're, they're providing um, tons of content for people who are into photography and people's journeys are different. And again, you might not like them at all, but like I saw comments where people were like, you're a liar. Uh, they're saying, you know, t even videos, why Tony Northrup is a liar. And, and then people in the videos saying, I can take a crop sensor camera and take a better picture than him with a full frame sensor. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm just watching this stuff. And I'm like, holy cow, there's got to be something better you can do with your time than that. And... Um, so stop hating on people. The other thing is um, one of my favorite channels that I discovered recently is the Camera Conspiracies guy, which if you haven't seen this channel, you have to check it out because he's hilarious. And he won me over in a video because he started talking about the flat earth and then, <laughs> and then pulled out like a flat earth diagram. And I just find all that conspiracy stuff very funny. So the guy's very funny and he knows his stuff. He talks about stuff. And he made the mistake of doing like a little critique um, of all these other YouTube channels in a video. And I watched this video and I chuckled my way through it because clearly the guy is just trying to be funny and he's just trying to add some, you know, content. And, and he was being tongue in cheek about these other camera channels. And he did make some good points though about how like, well, if you're a brand ambassador, we can't really trust you completely because you're going to be biased or whatever. Anyway, the hate this poor guy got for these videos actually made him, he posted a, a kind of a response to this one about this one YouTuber and was like very apologetic. And I just feel bad for the guy because it's like, he wasn't trying to hate on this other camera reviewer. I'm not trying to make excuses here and I'm not trying to be a baby, don't get me wrong. I'm a very thick skinned kind of guy. And um, so if you want to throw me hate, fine. I mean, I'm not going to throw hate back at you because I've got better things to do in my time. The other thing is there's really room in the pond for everybody. And I love watching all these different YouTube channels on photography because I get a different perspective from everyone. So you can find someone who's going to talk about the things that you value, which is awesome. That's why there's so many choices. So instead of posting vile hatred towards somebody, just go watch a different video of someone you like. No one's forcing you to watch the video. So this is my rant for today. It's something I've been thinking about on my own channel. And by the way, the, the vast majority of, of people who've commented on my YouTube channel and on my articles have been very positive. So I'm not trying to say like, there's all this negativity spewed towards me. Um, I think that in reality, 99% of it is positive, but it's that 1% of negative comments that kind of stick in your brain. So another, another thing you have to do is just, you know, learn to just let it, let it fly off of you and not, not stew inside of you. And if you don't like the Northrips, go watch somebody else. Watch my channel. There's a lot less content there, but I'm working on it. And you can watch millions of other videos or you can shut your phone off and, and go outside and walk around. 
there's, there's nature out there somewhere, not where I live, but there's nature somewhere. And, um, yeah, let me know if you think I'm wrong about this. Are your, should we be, should we be spreading vile hatred? I think no, but if you disagree with me, feel free to comment and, um, yeah, that's it. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.